The wind blows strong today. I hope your travel was calm. Hello and welcome to the world of Pokemon. But you've heard that many times before, haven't you? I see you. All of you. I can tell you're a very well-traveled Pokemon trainer. Hey! Hey you! Did Professor Dodonna really just give you a Pokemon? You? An outsider? Oh, I see. You're supposed to be that hotshot champion from another region, right? Whoa, you're good enough to be a champion or something. What the heck? That's it, Mello. Let's show this one how we do it in Team Snooze. Now then, I will travel off to Mount Olympia to prepare for our challenge and to keep my eyes on the skies. I say there may be more of you than there are Pokemon on this island. Pokemon are wondrous creatures. Most are part of nature, others are human-made, and some are the stuff of myth and legends. I'm here to give you a taste of Olympia. Let's throw you back into the sea. Go, cap on! Pokemon Masters, Bucky Toby here, and what you've just watched is the trailer for my new series, Pokemon Tempest. Pokemon Tempest is a 20 episode visual novel series taking you through the world of Solympia, a world that I have created that is set in the Pokemon world. However, it is completely unofficial, it is completely fan made, it's just my ideas, uh, and it's not associated or affiliated with Pokemon or Nintendo or anything like that. This has just taken ideas from some more recent and some from when I was growing up and just doodling in my maths books in school um, the ideas of the kinds of creatures I'd want to create, the kind of world I'd want to see if my favorite video game franchise Pokemon ever wanted to give me a job making Pokemon. However, I am a YouTuber, I'm a video maker, I make videos, and so for that reason, this is absolutely not a video game or anything like that. I really want to be respectful of, again, my favorite franchise of all time. I want to be respectful of them. Um, this is a visual novel series, and that is all it will ever be. It wouldn't make a very good video game anyway. It's written to be a series that is watched. The idea of doing fake mon and speculation, it's something we've done on this channel before and something we've seen all across YouTube. But last year, I really felt it was taken to the next level when my friend Hoops and Hip Hop made his series Pokemon Cardinal. And at the same time, um, Locked In was making the Cascade region and True Green 7 was making the Asson region. I'm imagining most of you know at least one of them. They are all fantastic content creators and friends of mine and looking at the work and the hard work they were putting in, I said last December when I finished watching Pokemon Cardinal, I said, I want to do something like that. And so I have been working on this series since December. There's been less uploads this year because I've been working on this behind the scenes to try to guarantee that when this series starts on September 17th, there will be weekly uploads for the next 20 weeks as the series continues. In fact, this hasn't just been inspired by Pokemon Cardinal and the work of True Green and uh, Hoops and Hip Hop and Locks In. It's also integrated with their work as well. You might see characters crossing over. You might see some of the creatures that they've created crossing over into ours. And in fact, there is right now, if you can't wait, an episode zero live on Hoops and Hip Hop's channel. It went live at the same time as this trailer. There you'll get to meet some of the characters that will be appearing in my Pokemon Tempest series alongside characters from all of these other regions. All of the characters crossing over in some big Avengers style crossover. There they meet up and you get to see Pokemon from all of these different regions and that episode zero acts as a prequel for both Pokemon Tempest and Hoops' Pokemon Cardinal. So if you've seen that series or you've not seen that series and you want to get a feel for what Pokemon Tempest will be, I'd recommend checking it all out. I will leave a link at the top of the description. Go and check out Hoops' series. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Of course, my story, Pokemon Tempest, is set in the region of Solympia. It's not inspired by any one real world location. It is an island of mythology, and it's inspired by a number of world mythologies, most prominently Greek, but it is not a Greek region or a Greece region. It is a mythical, fantastical island that is mostly inspired by my Dungeons & Dragons map, which is inspired by a region that I created in a video back in like 2016. These fake mon that appear in the stories, some of them I've come up with more recently, others of them I came up with like many years ago when I was a kid, just imagining what it would be like to create my own fake mon, doodling them in my maths book. In fact, the main legendary of the series, Titophon, is inspired by the oldest drawing of a fake mon that I have. 
This, this drawing right here is probably about 20 years old and this creature here, I always thought of it as a big powerful legendary. It's the main legendary of the series, although it looks a little different now. Of course, as you can probably tell by that, I'm not an artist, and so I have been teaming up with artists and editors and animators, musicians and voice actors. The whole series is voice acted and you're going to recognize a lot of voices. In fact, you might have recognized True Green and Loxton both in that trailer. The whole series is voice acted and in fact the main rival of the series, Cass, is very professionally voice acted by the absolutely incredible Corin Sudberg. And by the way, all of the artists that are involved in this series will be linked with links to their profiles in the description of every episode. I've been working on this series since December. This is a 20 episode, 15 minutes roughly per episode long Pokemon epic. It is the biggest quality thing I've ever done. It works out at around five hours of content. That's like two or three movies to tell this absolutely huge story. And I am so grateful for the, the, the people who have supported this channel before this point, whether that's through the, just watching the videos and leaving a like, or those of you who have done the merch store and Patreon and all that stuff, that has allowed me to work on this in the background to finally make this happen. And now on September 17th, those first episodes are coming out. I asked you if you had any questions about the series on Twitter and the community tab and on Discord. Uh, all of those things also linked in the description. You should definitely be following me on those. Um, and so I'm going to answer a few of those now. So question number one is, will this be more like Hoops and Hip Hop's um, Pokemon Cardinal series where it's a story, it's a visual novel, or will it be more like the stuff that Loxton and True Green do where it's more like building up to uh, building up to a region by doing like five Pokemon inspired by uh, the psychic type or, or five Fakemon um, inspired by technology or whatever. And it's going to be more like Ho Hoops' series. And if you head on over to Hoops' channel and check out episode zero, that is a prequel to both my series and his series um that'll give you a really good feel for how it goes and in fact if you can't wait a week for the episodes to come out check out pokemon cardinal it will be it's, it's a prequel to the whole series but you absolutely don't need to have watched pokemon cardinal to understand what's going on in tempest Number two, is it set in a new region? It is set in the Solympia region. Again, a place completely made up by me. No, I would absolutely not call it a Greek region. I would just call it a mythological region. It's a mythological island. Number three, who is the protagonist? This is Alex. Alex is your eyes and ears, your viewpoint into the series. Alex isn't voice acted by anyone. Alex is you. A champion from another region. I'm sure many of you consider yourself champions with past adventures and past teammates. Well, this is a champion from another region. However, you've been asked to leave your Pokemon behind because the ecology of this island is very delicate. And in fact, it's not just the wildlife that's delicate. Not everyone is happy about you being in the Olympia region. How many new or regional variant Pokemon will be added? This is something that I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep a little bit vague, but I will say you will be seeing at least 100 original creatures over that. And I expect the Pokedex to be 152 creatures long. I wonder why I chose that number. Number three, what's the region's gimmick? Does it have a gimmick, you know, like Mega Evolution or Z Crystals or Dynamaxing? And the answer to that is no, I don't feel the need for that. This is not a video game, it is a story. So it doesn't need a mechanic in it. It just needs to be an interesting story. And that is very much, I hope, what I have managed to achieve with this. Is there a regional Eevee evolution? No, you know, I think Eevee has enough evolutions, um, but that's not to say that other old Pokemon might not get new forms or evolutions in this series as well. You will have already seen the evolution to Houndoom in the trailer, the play before this. I've also been asked in the process of creating names for the series and creating names for the creatures, how did that go? I actually had a lot of help from you. Those of you who are moderators in my Discord have had little sneak peeks, but I really haven't like shared out a lot about this series. There was so much new content here and I've shared out very little of it because I wanted you to enjoy it as the full experience, as the full package when the episodes come out. Um, but yeah, the, a couple of you have had sneak peeks and helped me in developing names. So thank you to the mods over at my Discord for helping me out with those names. I'm also being asked, is there an evil team? And you will have seen in the trailer that Team Snooze certainly shows up. Uh, if you don't know Team Snooze, I've done a number of videos about them, but uh, the idea is that we are Team Snooze as well. Team Snooze is an organization that would like to take over the world with minimum effort when we just give us five more minutes in bed. They use sleepy Pokemon like Slackoth and Munchlax and maybe new Fakemon that appear in this region. 
And the final question that I like, I, I'm, I know I'm going to get a lot of that I want to absolutely be clear on. Will this ever become a Pokemon or a fake video game, a fan made game? No, never. That is not what this is about. Again, I love the Pokemon franchise. I want to be able to do this series and pay homage and respect to what they've created without encroaching on their territory. Um, this is my way of saying like, you know, this is really just my ideas growing up as a kid inspired by Pokemon putting them into a series, doing something creative with them and saying, hey, Pokemon, I love what you guys do. Just for the next 20 videos or 20 episodes, I'm gonna be doing this. And just for the team at Pokemon, you know, keep up the amazing work, keep on inspiring uh, trainers to come. For me, this is speculation about what I'd love to see, but it's also, it's, it's a story. It's a fake, fictional, made up story that isn't based in anything official. This is just entirely, you know, my ideas for this fantastical world. So I'm looking forward to sharing this Olympia region with you. Episodes one and two come out next week, September 17th on the Friday. I am so excited. And once they come out the same time every week, every Friday, this will be coming out alongside, of course, my regular videos, which will, you know, be my Diamond and Pearl stuff and my Legends Arceus stuff. That will be happening regularly in the week. This is just a bonus upload, something I've been working on since December. So thank you to you who have made it possible. Those of you who have watched any of my videos, any amount of watch time, any likes, any comments, anyone who's gone above and beyond to the next level with the, all the peripheral stuff, thank you for the support because this is something, this is like the best thing I've ever made. And of course, if you can't wait, head on over to Hoops and Hip Hop's channel to watch that episode zero to see my world and Hoops' world and True Green and and, uh, and Loxton's world all interact. Thank you all for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments which of the three starters you think you'd end up picking. Um, and I will see you next week with episodes one and two of Pokemon Tempest. So, hi, Pokemon Masters.